Hey guys, welcome, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. What are you doing? What are you really doing? Are you guys doing well? What's happening? It's been a while since I actually did a vlog. For a few days now. And I think you reached one. Yeah, it's about a week since I did a vlog. However, I am on the road and I just went to Western Union and I went to the hardware and I'm actually going back home now. I'm on the sell breadfruit, he sells the nicest breadfruit ever. Yeah, you can pick them up, but I'm going to wear it Alright, so this vlog I really want to project my garden the vlog here. I wanted to I wanted it to do like be like oh probably it's not a vlog, it's going to be like the project itself. Cause there's nothing else going on. Alright, if you're new to the channel guys, please go ahead to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget that post notification bell so you get updated every time I post a video. So, <laughs> look up yet from me and myself before I get into what this project is going to be. I mean, it will be in the title, the thumbnail will show you all. So, yeah, but look up yet before. So, it's like Thursday. School starts on Monday. I would have been to staff meeting already on monday and i would have you know have an understanding of what the school year is going to be like and uh, what grade i am going to be in what committee i am in charge of and everything so back to school literally this is the last week of free paper a free paper will call it with free paper burn up <laughs> so my free paper will start burn up from this week because monday and tuesday I had to go to school so <sighs> me just day I try to pinpoint how me go um, proceed with this school year so and uh, you know me just I try to live by faith me just I try to do everything and take everything one step at a time and uh, I just want to, you know, make this year a year where I am not too depressed because the last school year I was overly depressed, if something is like that. I was overly stressed. It was just, ah. Uh. So, yeah. I, I did not purchase a lot for back to school. I purchased two school shoes. That's what we call it. Two shoes. You know, Jamaica with the school shoes. I purchased two shoes at Payless. They had a BOGO sale. But you know, out in Jamaica, BOGO sale, they're still spending a whole lot of money. Because, um, and I like if they are foreign and Payless, they might have BOGO, you get one for $10 and the next one for the next. Because a half price bogo, you get the next one for ten dollar or twelve, they get the next six dollar. Nope, in Jamaica, literally spend like seven thousand for the two boot them. So, yep. I what else I did for back to school preparation? I washed them, the lunch kits. I was looking for new ones, but me not buy no new lunch kit. My mother tell me say, don't invest. I don't really invest too much in this back to school thing because at the end of the day if you don't need nothing new don't kill yourself about getting nothing new and me a new new me a person I like when back to school I feel no I'm not excited about this you know because if a school me did that go I'm not excited to get new bag new this even though I get new clothes I'm not excited to get new bag and new everything I'm probably if I did go I'm going to get new bag and new whatever but I'm not excited about nothing. About nothing. I had a pencil case and I just washed it. 
and say me keep going to work until me go find me buy one nice one because I don't get no nice one out here and if I get one nice one it's going to either be in an expensive store so I'm going to kill up myself about that and what else any other updates not that I can think of right now all right, so that's the update for me. I'm just going to process and I'm going easy until Monday. Coming out, I don't know nothing. Then today is going to be the most I'm going to work. <coughs> I'm not going to really know because the man is going to go, come do everything. All right, so the project is going to be a my veranda. My veranda, a little veranda upgrade. Um... I'm trying to create a porch, a porch, porch, a porch, um, porch. Boy, Tash, come on, man. Yeah, you know, how much, how much, Mount Sullivan, you know, so I see people up there, so. <laughs> so, I'm kind of trying to create like a porch setting for my veranda. Um, so I bought some. I bought some. Let me go find the veranda and talk to me. Alright, guys, so this is it now. Um, this is my veranda. This is my veranda. Very big veranda. <laughs> Alright. So, me know in Jamaica, a lot of persons aren't used to like having a porch. A porch or a porch. So. I am kind of trying to do that concept here and uh, it wasn't planned like a long time ago the problem is um when the rain fall a river bed the palm of veranda that is problem number one problem number two that i have to be solving for myself when i came here um i was promised a earning and uh, never get it or i know me to get it so currently every time rain file my veranda uh as me say it's a water bed so me and babe was talking and you know typical jamaicans if they have water as a problem what they do add chapalin me not add no chapali okay so for me everything that i do may i try to do it to the best i can and make it have a little style okay yeah so so i ordered i went on amazon me and babe was talking and i went on amazon and i was saying to him that i don't want a chapali as i said before I want things to be fancy and nice so I not only that I went on Pinterest first I went on Pinterest first and saw what are some of their options YouTube all of them and they recommended waterproof so all right I have pulled out a pack already and I don't want to do the pack that I pulled out so they recommended waterproof curtains that they use overseas probably people in jamaica might use it too waterproof curtains that is used on on a porch on a patio um on a balcony and all of that so in this case it would be like um a tarpaulin but it's a curtain nicely made nicely fixed so i would have put out the so a beige one already and this is now the white one so i'm going to do a mixture of beige and white so this is the pop set of two i can link it down in the description box if you are interested it's a set of two panels because you know that's what we call curtains right there are panels that what is like one like a style on it i'm not sure two panels and let me tell you the size it is 55 by 84 
these were on sale i got them for 11 no 10 something i think it's 10 dollars something or 11 dollars something for both panels so it worked out to be each panel worked out to be worked out to be five dollars but i ended up paying 20 odd dollars for four pieces it was 50 percent off sale which was great so i have two pieces i have two panels of white two panels of beige all right so i have them right there i am going to iron them because i'm gonna deal with nothing crush if you come in my yard and you see crush curtain that means say me sick or me not dead bought <laughs> all right next thing that i went and got in order to put up the curtains i'm going to need rods so as i was saying to you i'm just coming from the hardware and i went and purchased two rods and these are the sizes 120 centimeter to 210 centimeters so me and babe would have did a measurement already pre-measured everything and next thing to people we want black out over this so it's unfinished house business it just when i come out amanda i don't want to see that secondly it can be so scary to see that so i don't want to see that so we're going to hang them i want to go beige and white beside each other the middle part i'm going to leave open I'll leave open. I'll leave the part open. If it all look rain come in there and so come through here so you know as bad as over here. So over here so is the major bad part as well as when rain falls. You see a beer um things come in. Just the other day me and babe wash off this wall because we know we were going to have do the curtain thing and it just looked like it never clean over there when it rains it's not as bad all right yep next thing for this project i wanted to get a welcome home mat i had a black one but i don't want black i want to have what pinterest have yeah my brand i can look a bit dirty because the mud comes in and whatever yeah so that needs to be fixed next thing is i want to get a rack like a stand to put shoes on so when we come in inside to have them like here i want i saw the shoe stand in bashko really wanted to get everything for this video however i don't want to buy the shoe stand now because me have to work earn money accumulate the cash to buy it yeah money no group entry so i was kind of you know saying that let me wait for the curtain name but the curtain name i'm away the box i'm away i don't know if it's straight but just want to get it out of the way so i'm going to get this part done and the rest of it will get done another time so i'll keep you guys posted on the rest of the projects i'll be changing out these two so yeah and one more thing guys i wanted to get another um seating for out here I saw it in rapid, but I really want it, but my name pocket rule me. So we're gonna work with what we have out here, fix up what we have out here, and then after we jump on the other bandwagon to buy everything else. Alright? Yeah. People, me know my tap board around the update, but can you believe this? I wanna show us something. I'm so pissed off about two things. Two things. Thing number one is, <laughs> thing number one is, uh, when you look here, I am so convinced that, listen, <laughs> me not know, <sighs> me, not, me not know, when this happened, me cuss say, uh, it come out of the for me, but me not call it a crisis for myself, but <laughs> look here, I was taking up the watch to put the watch on charge, and look at this, this happened the day, I was going to work. Una, una tell me. Is that sign, you know? Now I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to fix this while in Jamaica. And when I looked on Amazon, 
it was showing me some um because this is a hapo apple watch se when i think it said uh most of the screw replacement they are rated two star three star and above that so i'm gonna know if this thing not really happened to people uh or what but if you can recommend a way of me getting this fixed easily i was saying that uh, i'm going to wait until i, I go overseas even though i bought it in jamaica i don't know what you guys think next thing to be a problem after me spend my good good money for amazon buy one new lamp for the living room because the lamp that was out here initially i placed it in the bedroom buy the new brand new lamp lamp yes bought this brand new lamp you want to tell me say amazon sent my thing without a part of it huh sent a part of it missing huh some lamp the shade upon the ground with me trying to figure out how am i going to fix this because i'm in jamaica if you send this back of foreign is a million and two dollar so watch out it's missing the part because this is supposed to come like a circle, circle shape and a part must be screwed onto it the part did not come them decided for them not send the part so the machine can't keep you know this shape where it's supposed to keep and the lamp has to be shadeless i said i was going to take it to a um a person that does mending we're calling people there um well done or something but try side it for me or try get the the part that the wrong part there 50 together god help me so in a few minutes i'm going to go grab the the person to drill the walls and guys as i had mentioned i don't want to hear it crush up things so whether even or not if i go on the burner or not, i gotta iron it so that's what i'm doing all right guys so let's just call this um you see the, the fan it's a fan spinning let's just call this vlog um an update vlog for everything for the house so i i would have had these uh, um light so guys i was saying to you earlier i'm never finished just remember that i i have um because he was here i just let him fix this light it's a light i got from amazon and i had it from the last apartment and i always wanted to do it like this but because you know a concrete wall kind of did really hard so today i allowed him to drill the hole well, drill two holes and hang it on their own hooks. So, yep, and it's plug-in. So it's like a chandelier column. Plug-in. You want to clean that thing though. Here. This one was up a long, long time. So, needed one more. Yep. People, it's dark. So only now I see the true effect of this. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Oh my god, we have shown this in the morning. B, oh it's a 10 to how it was before. Oh, you rate it thus far. It look good, you know, like people. Look really nice. So guys, I had these um pillowcases i have i think i have about four i'm going to change out these i found two i supposed to have four as i say this i'm going to change out these to match this these because have the white little so kind of brown really beige it's kind of like a beige night probably and the matches with the wall so yeah so guys, I wanted to come back in the daytime and show you due to the fact that the crickets, they were doing the most last night. So yeah, as well, all the curtains, how they held up. You can't even see the water. When I came out here earlier on to check out, 
this one has a little water on it but look how the water it just literally stays on it until it is dried off if you look from this side it's not wet wow i love that so you see the water from the side inside here but you're not seeing the water from you see the water outside but you're not seeing it from inside um this part is a problem too where the rain comes when it falls it comes in right here so there's a little water still there but um yep at least majority of it the water is off the veranda and there's not a lot of water um inside i love that so we're going to add like something over here kind of solve the water down there but until then um yeah this is it this is it a plant there and oh i shopped around my house if you guys remember this mat i bought it in rapid and i just added it over here because it matches with the decor so let me know what you all think hey guys so thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe let me know down in the comment section what you think of this upgrade i think it's something i would encourage people to do it gives privacy to as well it kind of includes your space a little bit more and uh, you know you have the option to decor all here as you wish definitely going to add another seating but in the future probably something on the wall yeah but that's about it so bye guys